All right. Cool, cool, cool. So uh, now that we have the whole team, uh, this is hopefully going to be an exciting uh, conclusion to this uh, to this little act. So uh, I'm, uh, this time around, I'm going to do the recap uh, just because each one of you has done one. So okay, uh, let's go ahead. So the the party was hired by a dwarf named Gundren Rockseeker uh, to deliver merchandise from the small town of Folkrest to the village of Fandolin. Gundren set out ahead of the group on horse to take care of business, along with a warrior escort named Ernest Hallwinter. On the way to Fendolin, the adventurers learned that Gundren was ambushed by goblins from the Kragmo tribe, so they set after them to free him. The party was able to save Ernest from his goblin captors. However, Gundren was moved from that location to the, Kras to the Kragmo castle a day prior. Ernest believes that the goblins are in league with an individual referred to as the Silent Spider, who it seems is after Wave Echo Cave, a wondrous lost mine in the region. It seems that Gundren uh, has come in possession of a map that leads to said mine. The group stopped at Fandolin to deliver the merchandise, rest, and reassess their options. During their stay at the village, they confronted and got rid of a group of bullies and bandits calling themselves the Red Brands. It seems that the bandits too were allies of the Silent Spider. Ernst and the party planned to take out Kragma Castle and free Gundren from his capture. They were joined by two valuable allies, Darren Edermath, the retired half-elf veteran, and Lin Chao, a Shiwan Li necromancer that you guys have met and befriended during your adventures. So as Ernest, Darren, and Lane uh, led a frontal attack to draw the goblins' attention, the party sneaked in the castle, dispatching multiple goblins, and hastily looking for their dwarf friend. They finally came face to face with King Grawl, an imposing bugbear who appears to be leading the Kragmo tribe. And there was also a mysterious female elf who seems to be an ally or so of the silent spider. The two were in the middle of arguing about handling or about handing over Gundren and the map when the battle started. Grohl was severely weakened by the group's coordinated attacks, but each time he was hit, he became more difficult to beat. Initially, the female elf used her magic to help the bugbear. But when she noticed that the character's attention was fully focused on Grawl, she snook to where Gundren was held, asked him a few questions, and she stabbed him. And this is where we ended our last session. So we're going to start and do uh, our, uh, you know, like our ritual D20 roll, and then we'll take it from there. We got a 19, we got a 12, a 16, yeah, 20, pop, 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 pop. and then 11. All right, seems like I'm the lowest roll this time. So we'll see how this uh, how this session is going to go. <clears throat> All right, so I think we ended on this new turn. And it's, uh, can you guys see the, um, the turn order? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so the, the female elf did that in her action. So she she moved to uh, the room, spoke to Gundren, and then stabbed him. Right after that, it's Eili. What do you do? Da, da, da. I'm going to drink an energy potion out of my pocket. OK, so use a bonus action to drink an energy potion. Uh. And um, I, I think I'm going to throw a Hunter's Mark on him. OK. Um, so this is my perception versus his stealth, and I'm rolling with advantage. Sure. And then tell me what's your total once you roll with advantage. 25. All right, you're successful. So you look at him, you see that he, he is weakened. Uh, you notice that um, right below his right arm, 
I, I think his right arm is a little numb, so right below his, his right arm is a good location to aim for. So you shout at your teammates and you say, go for her, flank him to the right, hit him from the right side. As you scream that, so he's affected by Hunter's Mark. Yep. Anything else? Yes. <laughs> I am, um, I'm pulling out El Tariel's arrow. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to take a snipe shot. I'm going to take aim, my first round snipe. Okay, so you're going to start uh, aiming uh, for all snipe shots. So make sure to take out the EP of um, uh, your spell and of El Tariel's arrow. Uh, and uh, please uh, make sure to track the, um, uh, the effect of Hunter's Mark. It's, I think, three hits, two piercing damage each. each. So make sure that you're tracking that. All right, cool. So that, uh, do you want to move or are you good? I'm good. Sounds good. All right. So it's back to Galleon Whitehammer. Okay. Uh, I uh, do a regular attack. All right. So you take your hammer and you try to swing at him. He's going to try to block you uh, with his uh, Morning Star. So he rolls twice. Oh, ah, don't match twice. <laughs> Wow, I rolled a one and a two. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so you're six. So you're successful. You hit him. How much do you deal in damage again? Ten magical. Okay, so it's ten magical damage. Uh, ba, 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 ba. All right. So you hit him. Uh, your your um, hammer hits him on the uh, on the right. Oh yeah, it's ten plus yeah. the two of the, yeah 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 twelve yeah. Okay, so. So you hit him with the hammer on his right side. Uh, indeed, it was uh, it was a good spot. You could feel some bones cracking, but you also felt that he was wearing an armor and his muscles. He was flexing his muscle at the moment of impact. So it didn't deal as much damage as what you would have expected from such a blow. Um, he is still very resistant to um, to these type of attacks. Is there anything else you want to do? Uh, let me check you just something. Do I... uh... No, yeah, that's it. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. So it's uh, back to King Roll's turn. So King Roll, after the two attacks that you guys have, well, after the, the attack you just carried against him, he and after hearing um, Gundren scream. He looks towards the door uh, where the screams are coming from, but then his eye catch um, Faye, so he runs at Faye. Uh, Sol and Galleon, both of you take uh, an opportunity attack each. Yep. So uh, my first two rolls are going to be against Galleon, my second two rolls are going to be against uh, Ubus. Uh, miss. So, this is Galleon. I did the one. This is Ubus. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, against Galleon, oh, you, you said you missed Galleon? Yeah, I did the one. Rolled the one. Okay, and Ubus, he rolled a 30 also... against you. Yeah, I also All missed. right, so the two of you try to hit him, but he blocks both your attacks with his um, Morning Star, runs towards um, Faye, stands before her, you know, angered because the last couple of times she hit him with her ulti, with her uh, blo a bloody whirlwind, and then she hit him with uh, her ice spell. So he grabs the Morning Star, very angry, furious, and he is going to use an ability against her. All right, so let's see. Uh, that's, yep, yeah, uh, I need to take out the EP. So, um, Faye, are you going to dodge or parry? Dodge. All right, so I roll here. Ooh. All right, so it's 41 against 18. You're unable to dodge. Um, let's do the second roll. So the second roll is... Um, his strength versus your strength, endurance or endurance? Strength versus strength or endurance. Yeah. 
and they're all the two. So which one do you want, uh, strength or endurance? Um, endurance. Okay, so roll and tell me what your total is. Ooh, well, ah. that, that, that doesn't work. It's a one. So as the the bugbear stands before you, you're a little shaken, you know, after, after using your spells against him, feeling the fear, um, he raises his um, morning star and then he go he goes for your right side you try to dodge it but he f hits you on the right side you could feel your bone crack your um your left arm's bone crack under the hit he hits you and then moves you a little to the side um you tumble on the ground and then stand up in that same um momentum okay so you take 23 physical damage okay and your maximum is reduced by your maximum HP is reduced by I guess is by twenty percent as you are wounded. Okay. So after taking that hit, you fall to the ground. You roll over. You hold your arm. That hit hurts you a lot. And that's the end of his turn. After get getting you with that hit. He looks at you in the eyes and says, you're going to die. Mm -hmm. And it's your turn. So I'm going to do... I can do all the things. <clears throat> I'm going to um, start with... Um, the um, disengage, disengaging slide. Okay. Uh, please but go ahead. Uh, what, it's my, are it's, yeah, it's my agility against your initiative. My initiative. Okay, so I'll roll for my initiative. All right, let's see. What did I roll? Did I roll a 20? All right. You did roll yes. a 20 yes, again. I rolled, uh, I rolled a 20. So you... Uh, well, no, no, I didn't roll a 20 again. This is my first 20 in this oh? session. Yeah. Who was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You rolled the one. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so... That doesn't yeah. work. Can I um, use my uh, turn to just get away? To disengage, yeah. You can disengage. You can use your action to disengage and move up to your speed. Can I move in the direction towards Solon Galleon, even though he's in the way? Um, that would be so. You can uh, moving through him does not count. So it would be two, four, six. You know, you go. You have to go around him, pretty much. So two, four, six, eight, ten. That would put you on this spot. Hmm. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, I just did. Uh, read the math. Um, it, you could have tried an action, but if you're disengaging with your action, you cannot do that. So the, the other thing you could do is you could try to push him as your action and then run, but he's going to be in your control area, so he's going to be able to hit you. The speed is the amount of uh, distance, right? Yeah, 10 meters. Okay. Um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to attack him. I'm going to do Bloody War Wind on him. Okay, so you, you did use Bloody War Wind once, right? So you yeah. have, you have penalties for that. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's, uh, you can, please go ahead, uh, and roll with advantage or whatever, and then let's see how that goes. 15. Mm. Uh, okay, so, all right, so what's uh, your total? Um, uh, maybe attack, sorry, you took me by surprise now, I'm all out of sorts. Um, where's my attack? 17 and 18, so 35. Minus 2. 
Yeah, so you miss. Um, plus, as plus what's one, that? Plus yeah, one. Plus one yeah, because I attacked. Sure, sure. Okay, so um, you do your so you grab your sword, realizing the danger in front of you, and you jump at him, you know, trying to slash. He, you know, you go as fast, but he's able to follow your movements. He blocks your hits. You know, the two, the two of you came very close. You came very close. You felt like you came very close to hit him, but he was able, able to block each one of your of your strikes. Were you rolling you know. with advantage, Ahmed? Yes. Yeah, he rolls with advantage for um, defense. But, but aren't we equal then? You said you were a 33 and plus then they, one. And then they said plus, oh, plus one, 34. Gotcha. Yeah, 34. So you go in, you start hitting, he blocks, he blocks, he blocks, he blocks, and then finally he pushes you away and looks at you in the eye. You know, you're feeling the desperation because you just use your most uh, deadly attack and he was able to block it. Um, anything else you want to say or are you good? You can say something if you'd like to. No. Um... Okay. Sounds good. Uh, it's Soul's turn. Yeah. Okay. After oh. seeing this, I move up. Okay. And... All right. So you move in there. And I try to attack him. All right. So you join the fray, brandishing your sword. He turns and looks at you. Um... And go ahead. Let's uh, let's roll your attack. He's gonna do his parry as well. He has a thirty-six. Now you have a plus two to whatever you're rolling. No, Does twenty-six. It... No? But you have thirty-six. So. Okay, so he turns, bam, brushes away your your sword strike. Okay. Come at me, all of you, at once! I will make you pay. And that ends uh, round. Uh, what what round is this, you best? That was 12, round eleven. 11. This oh, is, 12. is twelve. Okay, so uh, it's the uh, it's uh, the um, the elf's turn. So she does this. Uh, Osama, you never closed the door, right? When you went to look uh, look at what she was doing, you never closed it. I'm asking. It's a question. Uh, you are muted, uh, Osama. No, I know it's a question. I don't think that. I don't think. Sh um, no, I don't think so. All right. So she moves. She does a full movement. So you could see the door. You know, like she was. The door was not fully opened. Like it was halfway open. So you could see the door fully pushed open as uh, the elf lady uh, stands next to you, and she uh, looks for a second and uh, a, a bit surprised at uh, how many people gathered here. And she's like, oh my, all of you are here for me? Me? And she smiles and then she says, well, sorry. Uh, she's gonna cast a spell. Let's see. So this cost an MP. Okay, and then I gotta make a D20 roll. Let's see. Oh my God, that was a 20. Nice. All right. Oh, well, boy. that's that's going to be pretty good. So she stands there and she says, oh, my God, you all of you are here for me. And then she looks and she says, well, I am very sorry to, to disappoint you. Uh, Grohl looks at her and says, and says, what did you do? Uh, and she she can raise with her left arm a, a parchment, a piece, a long piece of parchment. And she said, and, and, and you can see Grohl say, what? How did you know? She says, <laughs> I am a mage, friend. I can do a lot of things and I can read through your mind. And then she says, and and, and, and he, he's angry and he say, I will kill you for doing that. And then she says, well, you have to catch me first. And then she points her hands forward and she starts um, saying something. And then you could, uh, as she pronounced the magic word, she's briefly surrounded by the silvery mist uh, around her. And then whoosh, she disappears. Um, Soul and Faye make a perception test. And tell me where your total score is. It's going to be a good day. This, today is going to be a good day. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's your total, uh, Osama? I'm a natural and, one. Natural one. Okay. So that's a failure. You best? 
Yeah, but uh, it's written 18 total. Okay, so it's 18. So you do, um, you know, she disappeared, but you could hear a faint sound in the other room, in this room. Like something has landed there. So to... I'm going to do this. So how many characters of us know what happened to Gundren, technically? Uh, you heard screams. You know, the screams, uh, some screams from that from that room. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's that's what you know. You could try to go and and inquire if you'd like to. But seeing or hearing what just happened, you may have your own suspicions if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Ailey, it's your turn. I uh, struggle with patience, but I'm going to just stand there and just try not to release and hold one more turn. Oh, you're going to hold one more turn. Okay, sounds good. All right, so you start aiming you know you have you have his head but you're not letting go yet you're trying to muster everything you have in this one shot um next is galleon uh okay <clears throat> uh move here all right so you joined the fray as well with, run with your hammer yep and I attack again. All right, so you come from behind, and he's going to try to block you. Uh, please go ahead and make a roll. What's your total? Oh, yeah, another 20, one. I mean, uh, yeah, well... Creatures uh, power <laughs> block you too. He says, get off my face. Your turn is coming, dwarf. What do you do? <laughs> you still have still, a bonus action and the movement uh, a little bit, so uh, you can do whatever. We can just pass. Yeah. Um, yeah. Stay. All right. So you stay there, and uh, King Grohl. Um, after doing that, after just blocking your attack, you know, like in that same uh, momentum. He's gonna do that, that uh, ability against you. So let's go. Yes. And we'll see if that's gonna work. Bam. Are you gonna parry or dodge? Got in. Uh, I'm gonna parry. Okay, please roll your parry. All right, so you fail on your parry, and then the effect is uh, his strength against your strength or or endurance. Which one do you want to do? Uh, I guess strength, yeah. All right, strength against strength. Let's roll our d20 and see which one has the highest. Ooh, unless you roll a 20, I don't think you can block that. No. All right, so you're not going to be able to block that. You're going to be injured as well. And then let's take a quick look here. I roll a d6. That's a 5, so 5 plus 10. That's a 15 plus 7. That's 22. So you take 22 physical damage. <laughs> And this time he hits you on the head, you know, that same head you had for a while that you've been headbutting him, so he hits you, bam, on the head. You take 22 physical damage. Your max HP is reduced by 20%, and you are considered as injured. So he looks happy after that hit, and then he says, it hurts, doesn't it? Uh, uh... Faye, it's your turn. Your muscles are tensing after the last attack and after using your um, bloody whirlwind. Your left arm is hurting. You can feel the pain coming from there. Yeah. You're thinking. All right. Um, I'm going to... Um... Uh, 
I'm going to try to um, move away again and do a disengaging slide. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the disengaging slide. I'm going to roll for initiative and I will. Stop rolling. I rolled a five. No, I rolled a one. Okay. So you rolled a five. So I fail anyway. You know, like, so his attention now is focused on um, Guardian and Soul. So you're able to disengage. You can move if you'd like to. Okay. So can I do that? Or that? Yeah, that works. Four, five, two, four. Yeah, you know, like as 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 you disengage and you try to go by your friend, obviously, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Soul oh. lets you in. The the Grawl tries to hit you, but you are able to do your slide, so you slide on the floor and avoid his hit, and you are able to get in that position. Okay, and the door's open, right? Yes, it was uh, open. I have a line of sight on Grawl. On Grohl, yeah, but uh, your bus is in the way. Soul is in the way. Move out the way, move out the way, bitch. It's in the way if you're using a spell that, or, or an ability that goes in a straight line, pretty much. Which also means like you just roll with disadvantage if somebody's in the way. Okay, so I want to try that. Um, okay, take your MP and then roll for your magic attack. He's gonna try to block it with his uh, Morning Star, but um, he's rolling with with disadvantage, and he has advantage, so it's only one roll. He rolls a six. Uh, God, I should have rolled the uh, parry rather than this is six plus that. Uh, what's your total, Usama? My total is 29. Plus... Okay, you're successful. You're successful. 29 alone is uh, is successful. All right. So you hit him. Now um, let's do the effect. What's the effect? For Chilling Bite, it's going to be uh, my magic against either your strength, agility, or magic. So that's strength. Okay, I'm going to roll. Hmm. All right. So let's you roll very high. Yeah, that doesn't work. But uh, you can roll your d6 and tell me what the total damage is. The effect doesn't work. So he's able to, he raised his morning star to block it, but he's unable to do so as the ice forms around him, hitting him, dealing 15. a total of 15 damage. Uh, so, tak, 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 tak. Okay. Um, now he's, you know, the shards of ice that came out of his body, um, even though he was wearing an armor, even though he was flexing when he took that hit, you could see that he's breathing heavily right now. That hit hurt him quite a bit. And that ends phase turn. Soul, back at you. Uh, okay, so I move here. And I attack him. I see. Okay, so please go ahead and uh, make your roll. Mm. Okay, I'm going to roll my parry. So one, yeah, two, oh, that's a 30. Uh, I'm I'm rolling with advantage. Ah, uh, yeah. So you take your sword, you try to slam him, you know, with all the might you have. He blocks you and then and, and shrugs it. He's like, "Don't worry, your turn is coming." <laughs> oh boy! All right. So round, round thirteen. Round thirteen, baby. So, uh, Faye, uh, not Faye. What's her name? Eileen. Eileen, make a perception test and tell me what your total score is. 33. Oh, that's a good, uh, that's Ooh. a good uh, roll. And I'm a one. Okay. That's good. So as you're focused, your attention is focused on Grohl to try to snipe him and kill him. For a second there, you heard the footsteps of somebody in this area. You know, somebody running. And that person, actually, you could hear the fo the footsteps, you know, like you, you really focus on trying to to distinguish where, is that, where that is coming from. So you could see footsteps going like this. You see the, the arrow? No, you don't? Okay. Sorry. Uh, one second. Okay. 
Can you see it now? Okay, so you could see footsteps going this way, coming from, you know, where the, the arrow starts. Somebody is running from there. I know it's that bitch. All right, so that's that. Uh, and um, who is next? Uh, next is Eileen. It's your turn, Eileen. Can I tell how girls doing compared to my friends? Compared to who? My friends. Um, my bros. Well, last time when you saw Faye, she looked like she was about to die. Okay. Um, this time, uh, he, he's Grohl is looking pretty bad. He, he's been looking pretty bad for a while now. He's just flexing. Every time he's taking hits, he's just flexing. So what do you do? Uh, did Soul hit him, or did he parry it? He parried Soul's attack, but you saw Ice hit him from nowhere, and it, uh, and, and it seems like you heard uh, Faye scream her spell, so she must have hit him with, the, the ice, uh, with her Ice spell. So I have one more shot with the Hunter's Mark. Uh, yes, which means, uh, Faye, we didn't count for the damage from Hunter's Mark, so I'm going to count it now. Um, let's see. So I'm going to reduce him, his HP one more. So I just reduced his HP by the effect of um, a Hunter's Mark. So you do have still one Hunter's Mark that you can use, or one effect of it. So I'm... Eileen is sweating because her patience is running thin. She knows she needs to wait one more turn, but um, I'm hearing footsteps and I'm seeing my friends. So I'm going to release. Okay. So you release, you know, you aim, you've been aiming at his head, but then for a second there, you remember, it's not the head that you need to go for. You go down and you aim for um, uh, right below his right arm, you know, on his side, and then you let go. So you're going to roll three times. No, not three, three times. You're going to roll, yeah, three times. You're going to roll three times and pick the highest. So it's advantage on advantage, right? Yeah, so you roll three times. And uh, the highest is your score. He's going to try to parry, but it's a missile, so he has this advantage with an advantage, so that's one roll. 33. I rolled a 34. But did somebody attack him? Yeah. No, this is the beginning of a new turn. This is the beginning of a new turn? You don't yeah, have first. bonus for them being next to him? No. There is no bonus for that. I should have held on one more. <laughs> Okay, so you, you you said you rolled three times, right? Yeah. yeah, so you rolled the one and 11 and the 13. Okay, so you, um, one, 11 and the 16. So you let go, your arrow flies, you know, he turns for a second, it's about to hit him, he moves back and he hits your arrow with his, um, with his uh, morning star. The arrow grows uh, to the side, you know, misses Soul by a little bit and gets in the wall. So your arrow is in the wall behind Soul. And he looks at you. You could see the anger in his eyes. He says, I will come to you after I kill them. <laughs> All right. We'll get to is there anything else you want to do, Eileen? Because you can do a bonus action or move. I'm just going to curse. <laughs> Shit. Okay, uh, got in. Your turn. <sighs> well, I'm going to attack him with a regular attack, I suppose. See? Okay. He's going to try to see if he can block you. Oh, well, no, don't, don't even. <laughs> I think I'm lower than your blocking score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I need to roll <laughs> double ones. Okay, so you go, ah, shut up, dwarf, as he, as he stops you. And then as he stops you in that same movement, he says, I told you, it's your turn. And he yeah. goes with uh, uh, a normal attack. Okay. He's going to attack you once. I'm going to parry. All right, so he rolls. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ah, it's a 40. Okay, so BAM! He hits you in the face, 
And you take uh, 17. Let's see. 17. God Let's damn. see. Is it this guy? Yeah, I think it's 17, but let me just double check. So 10 physical damage, and they rolled uh, an 18. So that's... Uh, se yeah, you take 17 physical damage. Oh, boy. Bam! You take it in the face. That hurts. And then he <sighs> says, after hitting you, he says, you like it? Your friend is gonna like it more! And then he turns to you, Bess, and it does Seasoned Fighter on you. Yeah, Seasoned Fighter. <laughs> oh, very... Tell me, tell me that I hit you. I did. Yeah, I yeah, rolled a 24 yeah. against a 20. So he turns... Well, I rolled a 2. So you take only 10 physical damage, you bus. Okay. And you get hit. Bam! You try to block. You block, actually, with your sword. But the uh, the morning star still hits you on the shoulder. The, the, the strength of his blow was too much to block for one uh, simple uh, sword block. And that takes us to Faye. Oh, it takes you to Faye? Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, with my bonus action, I'm going to drink my last healing potion. <laughs> um, yeah. Do I do I heal by less, or is just my max that's affected? No. Uh, the, the, there, is no there, is no, there is no max to the healing. The healing is just you know, like a specific amount, so you heal by that amount. But if you if that amount takes you to the max, you don't go over the max. Gotcha. So I'm doing that um, as my bonus action. Yes, it's in my pocket. I, uh, I got worried for a second there. And um, I'm off cooldown, right? So yeah, you are off cooldown. So, um, yeah, use your bloody whirlwind. He's gonna try to. Dodge roll with advantage. So he has a thirty-nine, and you roll with uh, so uh, one. Uh, no, I'm I'm doing the math of how many uh, attacks were done against him. So Eilie attacked, and Galian attacked, right? Yeah. So that's uh, plus uh, plus two for you, and then Galian and um, and Sol are, are in melee combat. How much is that for, uh, as bonus for you? Two, four. Well, no, you rolled you rolled a two. I, I didn't realize you rolled a two. There is no way you're gonna hit him. I rolled a thirty-nine, a total of thirty-nine. Yeah, but I I rolled with a, I rolled yeah twenty-seven was my first one because I rolled okay. You so roll you need you need plus twelve to to be able to hit him or to be able to get in a draw. Yeah. Okay, so you jump at him with your sword, with your bloody whirlwind, and he blocks your attacks as you're going for him. And he blocks it, and as you land next to him, he says, I've seen it already! This is the third time you're trying the same thing against me! And it's Solster. Oh my god. Okay. I don't have much... You can do this. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can roll. I try to attack him. Oh, attack, attack, start, attack. Ah, uh, plus uh, four. Plus, plus three, not plus four. Well, I really attacked. I attacked. Oh, I uh -huh. attacked. Uh -huh. Ah, three, three. Sorry, little <laughs> key. Math. Well, that's the first roll. That's the second roll. Oh, you best. So you have how much? <laughs> plus, plus three, right? So 35. plus three, you are at 35, you go from behind, you try to hit him, oh, you're slashing God. left to right, but then he turns at the nick of time and blocks it with his weapon and pushes <sighs> you away and says, yes, come, come all at me, I will make you pay. And that's the end of the round. And we move to a new round. All right, so... I already forgot what I'm doing. You already forgot what you what you <laughs> wanna do. <laughs> Why is my character sheet freezing? Annoying. Alright. Okay. So um we're back at you, Jessica. I am This is I'm frustrated and nervous. Okay, I'm going to grunt and put my hand out. Ah! 
and cast poison spray. How how far how how far is the distance on poison spray? Twenty. Twenty meters. Okay, you can do it. He's at sixteen meters. So, so he's like. <laughs> 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 oh! <Yeah. laughs> Should be from the mouth. Like, oh, I mean, it's the poison, blah. right? It's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll your melee attack again because it's a projectile. He has to roll with disadvantage and he has an advantage, so it's only one roll. So he rolls and he makes oh, a. Did he did it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. So uh, the next, uh, the second roll is. What's the second roll for poison? Okay, I have to read it again. Apologize. How come I can't get into my character sheet? Are you in it? I'm. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not in your character sheet. But that would be. That would be hilarious if the last hit to kill this guy is uh, like a burp. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. If test. Oh, I'm going off my paper. If test is successful, target is poisoned and takes additional poison damage equal no. to the MP spent. Yeah, no, that's 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 not what I asked for. That's fine. I'm gonna go I'm in your sorry. character sheet. So yeah, you I gotta can test. Open it. I you gotta test your magic against his endurance. So let's see how that goes. That was my magic attack against his endurance, and that's what I No, no, no. Magic attack against his judge, then magic to. Oh, to and make then the magic. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So I I gotta roll my endurance, and I rolled a. I rolled a four. Is it happening? All right, let's see. <laughs> oh. Okay, so how much uh, how much damage do you deal with your poison? Do you think that? <laughs> okay, so it is ten plus okay. um, sorry, additional magic poison damage. It's ten. Ten per turn. Okay, so you roll the twenty. That's under. twenty. That's twenty damage minus five for my armor. That's fifteen. That's fifty. Oh shit! Yeah. So you so you do you do. <laughs> oh, okay. Go ahead. Do you wanna do, do you wanna decri uh, describe how you kill him, or do you want me to do it for you? <laughs> you are, oh, I can't you're, hear you. You're muted. Crap! Missed my drama. Okay, I push it and I grunt and I, uh, and he goes, <laughs> he goes, uh, uh, and he melts. <laughs> Okay. okay. They get so, thrown to the floor. God damn it. So, so after after Faye's last at, uh, attack, you know, like assault at him, he blocked that. Meanwhile, Saul did this slashing strike from behind, taking advantage of the blind spot. He turns, blocks him, and tells him that, come, come everybody at him, he's gonna kill you. And then you look at him and you're like, Bleh! you know, like you let you let this this greenish spray that flies and as you say that more green spray comes comes out of your hand and he turns to you and he's like ready to block because he's like he's like used to block your shit but then he say this huge spray flying towards him and he is for a second confused where he needs to block because it's a huge spray and uh, for that second the spray hits his eyes his nose he goes through his mouth and he's like, ah, ah, ah. gurgle, ah. gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. He's gurgling, <laughs> spitting, but he's trying to spit the poison, but at the same time, he's spitting his own blood. You know, you may have seen his guts also being spit out. And he's like, no, no. And he swings right and left. Uh, Saul avoids his swing. You know, as he's running, he hits this wall, and then he falls to the ground, covered by this green liquid all over him. Well, it's a good thing I didn't do that three times. He would have known it was coming. Um. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> the puking uh, spell. So he falls to the ground. All right. Can I still call out to my friends and tell them I heard something and um, do a lot? Sure. After you do that, you say you scream and say what whatever you want to say. Guys, I'm hearing footsteps to the west in the, in the room to the west. Do you wanna okay. do you wanna start chase thingy like last time? Uh, no, there the there is no chase. I'm way too far for a chase. Oh, okay. 
I'm going to restart because my character sheet is frozen. Yeah, I think the, let me see, just distance-wise, how far is this? Yeah, there is, yeah, it's way too far. I mean, you guys can still chase. I, I guess, I guess I should have said you can, you can do the chase and just not tell you that you are too far to catch up. Um, that's on me though. All right, so after this, you guys settle there for for a second. Your heart is beating fast. Um, asking Grohl just uh, was destroyed. Uh, Ubas, is there anything? The team, the rest of the team, is there anything you want to do at this moment? Ah, uh, yeah. That was tough. <coughs> that was strong. Fucking creature. I, 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 I thought we were. I thought we were done for. Uh, uh, I shit my sword. Like, Gundrin! What happened to Gundrin? As I slowly try to make my way here. Okay. Um, the rest of the team, are you following him? What are you doing? Yeah. I'm following. He's dead. Okay. And as you guys are following you here, uh, Faye's faint voice saying he's dead. No, 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 no! It's not over. It's not. Maybe, maybe he's just stabbed. Let me, let me check. I, I, uh, and, and I try to get to us. I go on the bear. I see that bear thing. I go on top of it. Just yeah, down. it's it's a nice fur. You know, as you as you stand on top of it, it's a nice uh, it's nice bear fur. You know, on the floor, and you are a little surprised that there is such a decent quality of items in a goblin house or a goblin. Um, uh, Lair. I'm gonna look disapprovingly at the bear. On. Speaking of which, uh, Eileen, you don't om uh, automatically recover your your arrows that you've been using all game. I really need that wooden arrow that's in the wall. Yeah. So, I'm just saying, like, if you go if you go with them in the room, you're not, uh, <laughs> you know, like you're not recovering okay. your arrows. All right. Cool. So, you guys come in this uh, in this chamber, and you could see. Um, the body of Gundren Rockseeker laying on the ground. Uh, he has a stab on his um, stomach. Um, and there is blood coming out of there. And he's laying on the ground. Uh, so what do you want to do, uh, Yubas? As you, uh, as you I, I, I check his pulse. I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe I can stabilize him. I, I, maybe we can do something. Uh, uh, do an analysis test. Yep. Do you have anything else other than analysis test that could be relevant to this situation? Mm. Scale or so. No, I think the, uh, the first aid knowledge. Uh, uh, you could do an analysis test or a first aid um, skill. Uh, I'll take my chance with analysis. Okay, uh, so roll and tell me what your total score is. Eighteen total. Yeah, that's uh, you know, like you, you try to check his pulse. It, you know, like you hear nothing. Okay. Uh, with my first aid knowledge, can I can I try to step like do the typical stabilizing of somebody's wounded? Like trying to uh, pressure <clears throat> the wound. Uh, do you know? Try to. Sure, you could do you could do your um, your first aid uh, ability if you'd like to. Yes. Do you have anything else that can help you with that, or is it just uh, uh, I can, regular from, first? From my backpack, I have the uh, the eight, first aid kit. Uh, so how does kit. that work? Let me see. First aid kit. Can to heal an injury. The kid can have four users. Does it have a bonus? Does it give you a bonus to do your roll, or does it just do it? I think it just does it. It doesn't really help. Okay, so take out one of the usage, and then uh, roll for your first aid um, as well. Yeah, I failed. Okay, so you stumble, you get you get your first aid kit, you try to pull the bandage, you know, like you, 
you look at the wound, you try to pull some, um, some alcohol there. You're going to be working on this for like about a half an hour. Uh, okay. So you're trying to work, work on trying to help him. Um, anything else, Gundren or not Gundren, Galen or Faye that you want to do? Can I do the physician role to see, to, to help? Have to you could do a physician role or you could do a, an analysis role, whichever one you want. Or you could do an intuition. I guess intuition is also part of it. You could say, but but intuition is going to be non-scientific. You know, it's just going to be I'll like, just, I got a feeling. I'll just do the physician role. Okay, role physician. Do I have any bonus or minuses? Um, no, he's a dwarf. I would have given you a bonus if it was like an elf or so. I fail. Okay, right. so you try, you, you, you hold his... Um, his uh his hand and try to see his pulse and you could feel that you know nothing yeah there, there is no pulse um and you are looking at uh soul as he is getting his healing kit and trying to work on him so you you, you can provide him some form of support and try to help him with that uh you think that that's the best thing you guys could do is what soul is doing right now um galleon well, I'll, I step back, I let them do their thing, and uh, I use uh, a recovery kit on myself. Okay, so you sit down in there and you start um, yeah. uh, trying to do a recovery kit on yourself. Um, meanwhile, I'll you recover your uh, your your arrows. I'm assuming you went for your all your arrows, right? Yes. Okay, so you recovered that. How long is is your kit? How long do you need to use it for? Uh, me? Uh, one hour. Yeah. One hour. Okay, one hour. All right. So you're sitting there. You're going to you're gonna be working on yourself for about an hour. Um, uh, Ailey, you come back. You're seeing that Faye and Sol are trying to bandage um, the body of Gundren, who is on the floor. Uh, meanwhile, Garen is getting you know, like some um, medicine, you know, pouring some alcohol on his wounds. He's trying to uh, fix himself up. Is there anything you want to do in this room? Yeah, well, um, I I have a... Do you guys, anybody want me to use healing light on them? Just to take care of Galleon or of Faye. I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, I could maybe use some help, but I have a pretty bad injury here I need to work on. But, uh, by the way, I have a question, uh, Game Master. The, in the recovery kit, it says um, uh, you tend to a creature's wound. Does it uh, does it include injuries, wounds, or it's just wounds? No. Like does it say? Or... Does it say? Does it say that it takes out one injury on one wound? If it doesn't, no, no. then that's not the no. case. Okay. Oh, fine. Okay. Yeah. That's what uh, yeah. I wanted to. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Jessica, are you healing anybody? Well, I, I, they have to be. I don't. I mean, I guess I could just attack them. Well, you know, like unless if they are not willing, you could. And that's attack. a magic attack. I could just go. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Take some healing. <laughs> Say. So based on what you're seeing, Faye and uh, Guardian are both banged up. All right, I it, since they're not answering me, I'm going to attack them. <laughs> so who are you? Who are you doing it on? Who I'm gonna. Doing on? I'm gonna attack Faye first. <laughs> okay. It's a magic attack um, versus because she's unwilling technically, right? Are you willing, uh, Faye? You're gonna get healed. Yes, I'm willing. Oh, you're okay, willing. You're willing. Okay. <laughs> it's All right. magic. So take out the 10 EP, please. Okay. And next time, Jessica, I will count this as uh, you wasted 10 EP, just so you know. 10 EP? Yeah, that, the spell didn't work, pretty much. Oh, okay. You know why? Why? No, you're not, you're not uh, next to her, uh, to yeah. touch her and heal her. Oh, right. Okay. Because she's willing now. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna allow it, but just so you know, you're, you are supposed to be next to the person and touch them to use your spell. Okay, here we go. 18. Uh, that's a fail. Sorry, Faye. 
So she tries to focus her energy to try to heal you, but it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't come out. Stop following me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Any anything else you want to do, Eileen? Do you want to wait, or do you want to heal, or what, what do you want to do? Because you're the only one who can play there. The rest of the team right now are all working on an activity. Yeah, I'm gonna drink a magic potion, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna um, try to heal Galleon next. Okay, so drink a magic potion and then do another roll on Galleon. Your second roll is successful. So, um, what's the, the effect again? So it's going to heal 10 HP, and then I think you have an effect. Yes, he has to roll. Sorry. Um, he's injured, so he needs to test his endurance versus a difficulty factor by you. Okay, uh, Galian, please roll your endurance, and then I'm gonna roll for the difficulty factor. Uh, Tell me what your total is. Yeah, two seconds, I'm just uh, checking my endurance. Uh, just roll your d20 and then add your yeah, yeah. endurance, you know, like, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's uh, 31. Uh, you succeed by one point. So she touches your back and um, chants her magic words, and then you could see the the life energy um, come out of her body towards yours. And as she does that, that early injury that you took on your head when he bashed you, you know, like starts to get healed, and it's refreshing. And you so you gain ten HP, yeah. and your injury is lifted. So your max nice. HP goes back to normal. Thanks. Ah, I'm feeling so much better now. Thank you very much. Ah, I hate. Mm. Okay. So, uh, anything else? <clears throat> so, at the end here. of this, am I negative six in physical attributes? Uh, an hour hasn't passed yet. Are you just gonna wait until until the, the, everybody's done with whatever they're doing? You can still... I don't know. I can still chase, I think. You can I start looking stop. around, maybe uh, in the yeah. room, if there is something interesting. I'm going to do that, because since I still have my eyes of the wild. On the corpse of the dead people. Okay, so you're going to search the room, right? Is that what what you plan to do? Yeah. Okay, Probably so... Probably search Grawl, too. Uh, all right, sounds good. So, who are you gonna? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna uh, search, scroll, and that's it, and then go back to the room? Is that what you're I'm doing? I'm gonna search as much as I can in the time that I have. No, J Jessica, I I don't know what that means. What are you gonna so search? I'll go, I'll go search, scroll. Yeah, I uh, just just tell me what you're gonna do because there is um, you're like in summary. Are you gonna search, scroll? When you say I'm just gonna search, like you could search this room, you could search this room, you could search this room. You know, there's a lot of rooms to search. Can, a lot I do of all that in, can I do all that in an hour? Because I want to do as much as I can in an hour. So all those rooms. But... Okay. Um, uh, okay, sounds good. So um, uh, that's fine. You are going to start uh, searching. So you look at uh, Roll and uh, you find on him, uh, well, his armor has been uh, destroyed now. But you do find on him a morning star, and as well as uh, thirty-three gold pieces. And then you go to uh, this room. And then we, you find a total of um, on the uh, on the on, on the bodies of the uh, dead dead creatures here. You find a total of twenty five gold piece. And you spend time uh, searching the, this room. It takes you a, a, about a solid ten minutes to search it. Um, is there anything in this in this room? No. You find some rotted food. You, fi you find the, um, the bedrolls on the floor, if you'd like to, to take them. 
There are four bedrolls. Are you taking them or not? Um, yeah, I'll just grab them and then I'll ask the group. You can, you can put a maximum of two bedrolls in your backpack and then you're going to be full. Okay, two. Okay, so you get, you take two bedrolls from there. Um, and then <clears throat> you go back to this room and you spend some time searching it. Um, there is a, a lot of rotted food in there. Uh, make a perception test. You have advantage, obviously. 30. Okay, so while searching here, you find uh, an, an additional 20 gold pieces hidden under one of the racks uh, of food. Let me go back to this room, do another perception test. Twenty-nine. Okay, you're uh, you are successful. So you find in here there is nothing much to be salvaged. There is a lot of rotted food uh, as you look at the crates, etc. But you do find enough still usable food to have one ration. And then where do you want to go? Um. I think that's it for now. I'm going to go back to the group and tell okay, them what so, I have. So you, you are about 45 minutes in when you go back to the group. Um, you best, you said you, you your, your thing is 30 minutes, right? Yes. Okay, so the two of you are done. You guys have bandaged him, but he's, his body feels cold to the touch. I told you he was dead. Can I... Uh... Yeah, can I do uh, my last analysis check after the fact? Uh, sure. Total is 26. Um, so after bandaging him, etc., you put, you try to hear, uh, you, you put your, your hands next to his um, throat, try to feel his pulse. Nothing. There is no pulse. Kundren is dead. And as your hand moves away, you could hear a faint movement in his blood. Like a very, very faint pulse. Uh, I, I think I think I felt something, guys. I think I felt something. I think he, he's not he's not dead uh I, th I think i think there's some, there's some hope there's some hope and i do um can i use uh, a holy a holy word uh, on him uh sure you can try to use holy word on him so um go ahead and do your roll okay uh your top my first uh 30. okay and the, uh, the, so the second one, let me do uh, this. Uh, so the second one fails, the first one is successful. So you touch, um, you touch him and you use your holy word, the holy energy starts surrounding you and surrounding his body. Um, as you do that, you know, like you feel his body warming a little bit, but it's cold. Um, make, okay. a, make a... So you have first aid, right? Yeah. So make a first aid roll with 20% bonus. Oh, okay. Fuck, I still fail. So you're trying to understand what's going on, but you're unable to do so. You know, like, this is very confusing. You just he use your healing. Every time you use your healing and you use this, like, if the person is alive, they would feel well or they would stand up. But in this case, you know, like, it didn't... But, but you are sure that you heard a faint pulse when you touched his um, his uh, throat. Guys, I, I, felt, I felt something warming up. Uh, Galleon, is this something typical yeah. for dwarfs? Like, uh, I, he's cold, but I feel something. I feel a little bit of warmth, a, a little bit of spark. <clears throat> well, you know, living in the, the mountains, we are pretty cold people, so uh, it may be normal. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure what you mean by the small purse, but uh, so I, I try. Uh, Game Master, I can I use the common uh, yeah. lore or something to. No, no, yeah, no? common lore is useless here. No, yeah, but as a dwarf, I mean, 
What are you Does trying it, to understand? Uh, that dwarf, is, it, uh, is, it, is, it, is it something uh, that I've already heard uh, happening to a dwarf in the mines or in the mountain no. when I was living there or something like no. that? No. Okay. No. Um, Can I turn my healing light on him or is it not going to work? Because he's pretty out. I don't know. You, you can, you oh, can try. I'll give it a try. try. I have nothing. Yeah. Do you need? Uh, uh, I still have a vial of magic if you need. I do. I'm sorry. I don't yeah. want to take that from you. No, I'll just take it. I'm not gonna use it. All right. Take out your vial of magic, yeah. and then he gives it to you, uh, Ailey. And then I drink it. Yeah. And then I'm casting. Now, is this still magic? Yeah, that's magic. Okay. Woo! Well, you're all 20. 20. Okay, so, um, and then let's do the second roll for the effect. That's yeah, his endurance. Yeah. Oh, so he is rolling, so I'm rolling this against. All right, cool. So you sit there and you put your hands on his chest as you start um, uh, chanting. The magic words that that you have used multiple times to bring back uh, energy to uh, your allies, and as you say so, you know, like a light surrounds you uh, as as you are trying to pull energy from the ether and to put it inside of this dwarf's body. Um, the light become brighter as you uh, do that, and for a second there, you thought that you know the, his body was lifeless. And you were about to move away, but as you were about to move your hands away, you could feel, you could definitely feel that there is still a soul in there. But that soul is extremely weakened. It's, uh, it was literally on a thread. It was about to die. Like it had probably like a few seconds before, before it died. But you were able to put enough energy or life energy in it so that it could have a chance at survival. You know that this person is not dead, but is going to require some serious uh, medical help, or else he could be dead by the end of the day. Does anybody know a doctor? He's, um, he's still there. He just needs a lot of help. Yeah, yeah, let, let's, let, let's, get him, let's get him out of here, quick, quick, quick. Uh, and I try to wrap him in in the in this blanket of the of the bed. Okay. Uh, to keep him a bit warm as I can, as I lift him uh, with my two hands and try to make him as comfortable as possible, while we try to get the fuck out of here as fast as possible. Okay, uh, Faye and Guardian, is there anything you want to do meanwhile as he is wrapping him in uh, on on the bed sheets? Um. There's no way to do the physician stuff again, right? No, you, you, you maybe, maybe once you leave here and you go somewhere else, maybe you, you are going to be able to do that with the information they gave you. Yeah. But it's going to require it's going to require some sitting and, and work, and you don't have, you know, like the physician thing. It's one thing to use it when you don't have anything, and it's another thing to use it when you are in an environment where you can use certain things to help you with your role. Okay. Uh, did one hour pass or uh, not yet? Not yet. Not yet. It's about fifteen minutes. Did we? Uh, has anybody? Um, I look at you, Ali, and I said, "Did you search this room?" Did I search no. this room? No, you did not. She did not. Okay. I whatever he's. I'm. I start searching this this room. Okay. So as you are about to start doing that, please, uh, everybody, roll for perception. Do I still have advantage, or am I? Yeah, done? an hour is not uh, is almost over. You only have five more minutes. Okay. Okay. What's your totals? Thirty-one. Uh, Fourteen. Seventeen. Guardian, what's that? Seventeen. And Usama. Thirty. Three zero. Okay. So Usama and uh, the two elves, you start hearing. Actually, as you are about to go to go about doing what you are doing, you start hearing. Scream, not screams, but like chants and loud voices coming from the front side 
of the um, of the castle. Uh, make the two of you who are successful make an analysis or an intuition test. You choose what you want to do. And then tell me what your total is. Fifteen. Uh, okay, Usama. Analysis or intuition? Uh, I'm going with um, analysis. All right, wonderful. Um, and what is your total? 30, 30? Okay. 33. 33, cool. Uh, Eileen, you know, like you heard those vo th those sounds, you're not sure what that is. Um, Faye, as you heard that, you're pretty sure it's probably the... Um, the groups that went to go after um, your allies, after Ernest and company, that are coming back. Shit. Because it's been because it's been a long time that you've spent in the in the castle. Okay. So, so any anything you want to do? Information with the group. I say, hey, I think the. The uh, vanguard that went to uh, to respond to uh, our um, other friends over there, they're coming back. So we need probably to hurry it up. And okay. I would say we leave through the south entrance that we discovered earlier. Yeah, or we can also leave by the north. It's up to you guys, whatever you want. You can also slide from the north. Is this meta gaming, by the way? Or, or... what north? Where? 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 Uh, I'm thinking here. That's not, that's not an exit. Oh, it's not an exit. Never mind. Well, first, of all, first of all, you've never been there yourself. Yeah, I you know, yeah. The only one who's been in that yeah. room. Never mind. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, but... Okay, I'll, I'll just follow what the what face said. Okay, so what do you, um, so as uh, Gale, and not Gale, uh, Sol is rushing to wrap um, Gundren's body you guys have two turns to do something before, you know, like, we move after that. Anything you want to do in, in these two turns? I want to so, search. so cannot do anything. He's he's focused on rolling his body. Yeah, I want to search the room. You want to search the room? Okay, so you start searching. It's going to take you It's going to take you at least 10 rounds of research here. You could do a quick, a quick uh, sweep, but the quick sweep is going to be rolled with uh, disadvantage. Can I help her? Uh, your eyes are starting to hurt. Yes, you can help her. Yeah, let's do a quick sweep. Okay, so roll uh, with uh, dis with disadvantage. Actually, uh, so uh, ID, you're gonna start helping, but your eyes start hurting. So um, I'm gonna count this as you roll. You make a normal roll, no advantage, no disadvantage, because she's helping you. And then tell me what your total is. And it's perception, right? Yeah, his perception, not yours. And then, sorry, sorry. I, so I rolled twice my perception? No, you rolled once. Oh, okay. Jessica, you're not rolling, just so you know. He's the one rolling. So he rolls 18. Okay, so the two of you are stumbling and trying to look around, um, but your mind keeps thinking of, you know, the possibility of having a, a horde of... Um, goblins surrounding you you do find though uh let's see so it's this uh, this one. Uh -huh. you do find in um this uh here this drawer you do find uh you open it and you find uh, three potions and based on the liquid, it looks like it's two vials of healing and one vial of energy. And that's about it. And as you finish that, and uh, Sol, you have the body wrapped, the body of Gundren wrapped, you start hearing loud voices coming from the entrance. Okay. Well, let's get rolling. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go and we're gonna see how how fast you're gonna go. So, uh, what's what's your plan of action? I need to know. Just ping me where you're gonna go. So, Galen, uh, uh, Sol, I suppose you're gonna carry the body. Yeah. Yes. So, Galen, you need to be front. I go first. Yeah. 
I, as you can see, I'm not in any shape to have major combat. And um, yeah, so is that does that work? And then slowly close because you keep the body behind. Okay, so where are you going? Uh, we go south, so we go from when, from where we came. Are you going here? Yeah. Okay, so the whole party starts moving and you guys are trying to do it hastily. Just, what? Yeah, but uh, the kit, does it... Uh, no. Do I, no, it's uh, no. wasted. No, it's not wasted. You can still use the end of it when you get to a location. Okay. Where okay. you can do it. Okay. Okay, so we... Sorry. So, uh, who's the lowest um, ag agility in the group? Uh, I think uh, that's gonna be me. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be me. I think I have 11. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have 13. Yeah, okay, so so we got 11, we got 13. Uh, Jess, how much do you have? 15. So 11, 13, 15, and Osama, how much? 17. So your average is 14. Okay, so we're going to take 14 and you're going to roll with disadvantage because you're carrying a body with you. And we're going to see how you're going to do this. So let's roll uh, an agility test as 14. Select whoever in your team wants to roll it for the group and you're rolling with disadvantage. Who wants to roll it? I'll, I'll, I'll say Faye. I <laughs> <laughs> shitty rolls. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. Yeah. Right. What? Hold your breath. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Disadvantage, so roll again. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> That's good. So, the whole party, you guys rush as fast as you can. You know, your, your soul is carrying the body as Galen is leading the charge. You guys are running fast and you can hear the voices getting closer and closer. And as you get in this location, you start hearing screams from the goblins. You know, something has alerted them. They are the goblins that just got in. You're hearing, and you hear people running. And you hear a lot of um, footsteps coming towards you. Um, and then you rush, you'll finally get to the door as you can hear the footsteps behind you. And as you get in front of the door, who opens it? I open the door. Okay, so you open the door, you push, and the door does not open. It is a locked door. Shit. Uh, I try to... Uh, break a huh? dwarf. Break a dwarf. Yeah, I use my hammer and uh, try to break it with my hammer. Yeah, it's going to be a strength test. Oh, All right, let's do this. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's, let's roll your strength and see how that works. What's your total? Oh, boy. <laughs> and then let me see. So this is uh, area... Uh, 21. You got a 21. Okay. Let me just check how much is the strength of the door. So, ba, 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 ba. 21, you said? Yeah. You move, bam, you hit it, and you fall back. They're like, ugh, this door is pretty sturdy. Can I try again? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's do this again. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> <laughs> so you run and. <laughs> Oh, I, I need to roll and then tell me what your total is. Uh, 20. Oh, come 20. on. <laughs> really? So your strength, I, I thought your strength was 18. I don't know, I see, I see 17. Did it, oh, it's 17? Okay, I, I don't know, I'm just I'm just asking. I don't know how much is your strength. That's why I'm asking. I thought yours was 18. But uh, if it's 17, it's 17. Okay, so you run a game, bam, hit, and fall, fall back. Now you're starting to hear from behind you you're starting to hear people reacting to these bangs, and you are hearing footsteps that are getting very close. Can I? Can I? Can I? say, do I need to throw you? Can I pass? Can I pass Gundrin to to Faye? Uh, can she carry? Faye? No. Can, Faye? No? No. no. I'm asking. I'm asking. She, she got, I'm asking. I'm just checking. Uh, uh, Galen, can you can you hold him a second? 
Uh, yeah, I yeah. Try, yeah. Yeah, and I. Yeah, but if the, hold on, if the two of you try, then you roll with advantage. If you I give know. it to Galia, yeah. then then you're you're not rolling with advantage. If, okay, if somebody yeah, helps somebody I, do something, do you want to I, give it to? <laughs> no, I, I didn't think of that. Okay, so I have sixteen in strength. Okay, so so the two of you are gonna try to bang the door. Is that what I? What, I yeah, I yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna put Gundren like on the floor just so that you know, like I'm not. Okay, so just so you know, it's probably Guardian has to do it because he has the highest score. Yeah. Keep going, and yeah. you help him. Yeah. But but normally, if, you know, I'm just telling you now. But normally, yeah. it would have been you, and he he is helping you with the advantage. Okay. But I'm gonna make an exception just so you know. Okay, Thank Galleon. You. So you're gonna the two of you go back, and you're like, "All right, let's get ready, get ready." And then you start running. Roll. With advantage. Come on. Advantage. Fuck you. <laughs> you. Both of you hit the door and fall back on the ground. And For as you God's do that, sake. as you do that, nobody knows how to pick locks. Do we have anything? Credit For card. For God's something? sake. Yeah, a, a lock picking could have worked too. Oh, but as you do that, the two of you fall, and then and then you help each other to stand up. And as you stand up, you could hear from behind you, um, and you turn, you take a look, and you see one, two. Hey, Leila, Safi, 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 we're dead. Can we just close this campaign and go home, Safi? Four. Fuck this. Hey, Leila. Well, you go, you, you, you're, you're all gonna, like shit, Galia. You're all like shit. Listen, you're gonna stop. You're, you're, you're gonna stop in uh, in the in, in the bad guy's lair and start uh, making breakfast and dinner. Sucks, and one last try. Gonna be they can reach reinforcement us. Before, before they reach us. One last try. So you see, you see. Okay, go ahead. You see a band of uh, of uh, uh, what do you call that? Of uh, hobgoblins that come in. And they look around and they see you. Yeah. And please go ahead and make your roll. If you well, want to bang the door. Come on, for fuck's sake, well, Does anybody have any vials of magic? Oh, well, well, well. Okay, well, <laughs> how's it, it's, uh... Jessica, I'm not shooting. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Eileen, you, could see, you could see Eileen is holding her, her head. Her, so... her eyes are hurting her a lot. She is uh, having a, a major penalty right now. All right, uh, you guys roll with advantage. Who's going to roll? Roll with advantage. I roll. Oh, a seven and a two? Yeah. Beautiful. Yes, come on. Uh, <laughs> what's your total? What's your total? No, 20, what's your total? Uh, 24. Please. 24? Please. You succeed by one point. <laughs> I'm at 23. You run the two of you, bam! You just barely break oh, the door. Man, door. And I pick up Gundry. <laughs> as the door breaks, you guys, after this noise, you guys move in here and you could hear behind you the door that was here opens up and there is about five goblins that come out of there. Oh, guys. You know, wearing uh, one, of, one of them wearing like a chef's hat, you know, and they look at you. And he points at you, and the goblins shoot with the arrows. So we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna do a dodge first from the two people on the back. So Ailey and um, <coughs> and Osama, please roll your dodge. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> did anybody pick up the body? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I did. I did. Yeah, I did, no, I did, I did. yeah, you guys, you guys picked up the body. Uh, okay. But like roll. Um, so oh. the first one is for Ailey. That I rolled. So, Ailey, what's your total? So, it's 18 minus 6. Okay. And Osama? All right. So, you guys get shot by arrow. Faye, you're able to swiftly avoid it. But, Ailey, you got hit. You take 8 physical damage. Make sure to take out the durability. And now, make one more agility test. Uh, wait. And same thing. You mean as a it's group? No, it's 14, and it's with a disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. You're carrying the body of... Uh... I'm the average. Yeah. I'm not making the roll, huh? Well, well, <laughs> unless, unless if you guys want to just scatter and not move together. You, like, you don't have to wait for the, for the guy who's carrying the body. But that also means the guy who's carrying the body, if he gets caught, he gets, he's on his own with the body. You know what I mean? I get it, I get it. Can, uh, could you clear the map for us uh, where we are? 
And what do we just, do? just, it doesn't matter. It's, it's a one roll. Oh, okay. So who's making it? So. Hey, <laughs> no, fuck you, Gary. Go fuck yourself. You're not gonna roll anymore. Go, go, okay. go, go, sir. So Freya rolls twice, and it's disadvantage, right? Yeah. And I rolled a nineteen. <laughs> okay, oh, so so you guys, you know, like run as fast as you can to run to get away of this goddamn castle. And you run, you run like really fast. And as you get closer to the to the actual trees here, you could see um, goblins and uh, hobgoblins uh, at the top of the tower, and they aim at you and they shoot. So there is going to be another another round of shots. There are <clears throat> there are actually four shots coming out this time. One for each of you. And I'm gonna roll all of them. So it's left to right. It's you, Bass, uh, Jessica, Galian, and then Usama. Okay. You, Bass, you roll with disadvantage. Yep. Hold on. Uh, so that's one. No, I gotta do. Okay. You, Bass, I rolled. Uh, what's your total? To uh, 28. 28. I rolled an 8. Okay. So the first shot flies towards you, you're able to dodge it, still carrying the body and running away towards the trees. Uh, second, Eileen, what's your total? So, dodging just one roll? Yeah. Um, 27 minus 6, 21. You take, you get, you get shot again, you take 8 physical damage. <clears throat> take out the armor and then take the HP. Galleon, bam, you get you get hit, <laughs> take physical damage. Uh, Usamo? Oh, uh, boy. Fuck uh, okay, I rolled a one. So that one goes <clears> by. <throat> and as the team, as the group gets in the forest, you guys are able to escape, uh, you know, to get the trees to cover you from uh, from shots. And you keep heading south. You keep running running south. And I think this is a good stopping point for the for the break. Yeah, I need a break uh, here. Man. <laughs> I've never seen so I'm stressed. many shitty rolls. <laughs> I'm stressed, man. My legs are shaking. What the fuck? Well, and, 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 and you guys were just sitting. I was like, oh, you want to spend an hour sitting here? Okay, I'm okay. It's not like, it's not like uh, you you are playing against uh, against the clock. Okay, I'm, I'm yeah, cool but, with that. Yeah. I can... Yeah, I, I wanted... Can, no, you could... But, yeah, I just wanted to stabilize and see... Literally, there's nothing we can do before we leave. It takes but, time, yeah. brother. It takes time. All that shit takes time. So right. it's a resource. All right, cool. So we'll take a break and we'll be back in uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. Sounds cool.